Hi, this is Anna. You're now watching the Growing Up Italian podcast. Yes, yes, yes. How you doing? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. It's actually the first interview I'm doing in English, so. I get that. I've been getting that a lot lately. <laughs> Everybody says first interview in English. For real? Yeah. I Who mean. You interviewed in Italy. Right now or like right forever? Now. For right now, we did um, Rocco Hunt today. Uh, Yesterday, we did Gue. Okay. Um, tomorrow, Lazza. Okay. And you. Nice. First podcast too, though. First podcast. I want to throw that out there. Yeah, that's my first podcast as well. Let's get it. So you do a lot of. I feel like a lot of firsts for you. Yeah, it's been like it's been wild. I've been in the industry since I was like sixteen, uh, and it's been like a lot of first times for yeah. like a uh, fashion week show. And it's nice to do these things when you're really young, cause I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of core memories about yeah. these things. When I was preparing for all these interviews out here, I thought this one is the most important one because everyone that I interview and lots of tomorrow, these guys, I, I feel a lot of people know them, but with you, I feel you're just starting. Yeah. It's been like three years that I've been doing this thing and I, yeah, I kind of just started. So explain to us um, how you started making music. So I started making music because my dad was a DJ. Uh, mm -hmm. He always like played a lot of music in the house. He, like he's always been collecting vinyls mm -hmm. so there's always been like a lot of hip-hop music in my house and he always was scratching and mm -hmm. shit like that and so I was always I feel in the hip-hop like ambient mm -hmm. you know yeah. uh, but I started making music actually I was doing like covers of Nicki Minaj and Rihanna when I was little um, just at home I was reading their uh, lyrics like learning that's how i got into like overseas music as well i never listened to a lot of italian music since i was little i always listened to like um overseas music like american music uh, your english is really good by the way <laughs> i think rocco would agree i yeah, think 100%. music made a lot in, to, yeah like taught me a lot self-taught yeah. english yeah. yeah that's crazy <laughs> yeah, so we, we spoke about this when uh because i met anna a couple of times I remember last year at this time when I was in Milan, I met you, and then I just saw you in Sardinia, mm -hmm. and I've told you every time, like, we got to do this interview, Yeah, your English is perfect. Yeah, I was excited, because I never got interviewed in English. Like, I did a couple of things, but I never did a podcast, and I never got to talk for, like, a while, so I'm excited. Yeah. I feel podcasts in Italy aren't as big than they are uh, in America. No, we have a lot of big podcasts in Italy that we can never, like, compare to Italian podcasts, but... There are, I think, like a couple podcasts in Italy, not many. And they're not as relevant as they are in America yeah. compared yeah. to the population. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel in Italy it's still about radio shows and Yeah, stuff it's like a lot that. TV, TV. Yeah, a lot of TV, mm -hmm. reality and stuff. Yeah, reality shows go so hard in Italy. So I know where you're from, Liguria. Yeah. Because you, you told me it's a little far, further, yeah. right? Uh, tell us what it was like growing up in Liguria. So I was born in a really small place, like it's uh, 100k people like living there. Damn. I'm 108? 100k. Oh, 100 oh, oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know it's not that small. It's not that small. <laughs> Everybody's your relative. We are real. We, our parents come from a town of 2k, like 2,000 people. So Where? they start counting the goats. <laughs> like, they say, oh, 2,000. Okay, 2001. 2000. <laughs> you know? Uh, where is it? Is Sansa Salerno and he's, his parents ah, are Sassano. Okay, yeah, San okay. Salerno. I know Salerno. But, um, I mean, when you come from a really small city, you don't have, like, many ambitions for the future. Like, either you end up, like, uh, working with your parents or working in a shop, uh, mm -hmm. except if you have, like, big ambitions or, uh, like, my main thing was always, like, I always wanted to escape from that city because I felt like my dreams were kind of... In Milan? Or not, or yeah, just no, out, I always outside. dreamed about coming to Milan. Yeah? Um, coming from a small city, a lot of people don't support you because they kind of make... Yeah. 
they always made fun of me because I was this little girl. I was 15 years old, like, traveling, making music. <laughs> and She's they were, not going to make it. She's yeah, not gonna yeah make they it. always like that. She's not going to make it. Yeah. Like, you're, you look embarrassing. ridiculous. Embarrassing, blah, blah, blah. But I always had this kind of tunnel vision of where I wanted to get and, and what I wanted to get. So I think manifesting was a huge part of my success. Yeah. Um, let's say I, I always used to come to Milan from like a, um, for like a couple days when I used to live in Liguria mm -hmm. uh, just to get to know people and like insert myself in this kind of yeah. city because it's very hard. It is important to be here though. It's important to know people if you want to come to live here because uh, once you get here, then what are you going to do if you don't know anybody, you know? So I was coming to Milan. I got to know a couple of people. Um, and then, uh, but I was I, I was still living in La Spezia, in Liguria. And then one day, I just used to make song with a friend of mine. We were just, like, recording in a garage for, like, 20 an hour. Mm -hmm. Uh, but one day I recorded this song called Bendo and it blew yeah, up yeah, yeah. and it got me out the mud and I'm yeah, so yeah, grateful yeah, yeah. for it and it was crazy it was like boom so Bando how far was that from dripping in Milano uh, year wise I think it was a year later a year later yeah okay. I'll be honest this is how I discover your music yeah, and, it's a, and you know the I know story Sve Sveta uh, made you listen so to yeah so, so the funny. first time Sveta came to New York Sveta was at my house and yeah. I was putting some Italian music. He's like, bro, let's put some fucking fire shit. Yep. And he put Drippin' in Milano. I was like, Drippin' in Milano. <laughs> it was super catchy. Yeah. Bro. And at that moment, I was like, yo, there's an Italian girl rapper? <laughs> I did. It was like new new thing unlocked for me. Yeah, I'm and grateful uh, that he made me. He made you hear the song. But it yeah. wasn't just Feta. It was his whole team. It was like, yo, yeah, this yeah, shit's yeah. fire. Yeah, listen. Yeah. He put it on. And I think he actually like sent you a video because when we met... Yeah, I told he you sent the story. me a video. He was like in a barber shop. No, it was like a shop, and there was this big, big screen, huh? and he recorded the screen. That might house. be my house, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it looks I like a barber shop. <laughs> barber shop. Maybe this I is like that. Area. It's no, kind it of looked... fire that my house gives barber shop vibes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, it looked nice. Like it looked like a shop. Yeah, just like a big TV. Yeah, you know? it was a big TV, like on the on the wall. What does it mean for you now that you could say you have a song with him? Because I know. When I met you, you were a huge fan, and we yeah. went to the concert with your brother. Yeah, and you and your brother like no song. We were work vibing. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was a huge goal. I think for anyone in Italy that, for me personally, I grew up with his music. Like since I was thirteen years old, everybody mm -hmm. listened to Spera. Like he's the goat. Yeah. He's the Italian goat. You know. Yeah. So uh, like when I when I made a song with him first, Cookies and Cream. Mm -hmm. With Gwe. Yeah. Shout out uh, to the big shout bro. Shout out to Gwe. Uh, it was like a dream coming true. I think uh, it's the goal for and everybody. And your verse was fucking fire. Thank you so much. Super Thank fire. You. Yeah, I think the song, it made a lot Did of... Do you think it made a big impact on your career? Yeah, I think I think that song was like the point of... Uh, in Italian, say svolta. Svolta, yeah, yeah. Like, like you exploded. Yeah, right? yeah, I think it was like the turn. Because I'll be honest with you, and I'm I'm not like super in tune with everything that goes on here because I only know from Instagram and like I don't go to school and hear what what the kids talk about. I just see it. Mm -hmm. But I think that song, people like probably respect your bars. Like like yo, the verse is fire. I think the fact that I made the song like Gwe gave me a big space, you know, because before it was kind of mm, people like. Mm, Anna, yeah, but when I made that song, it was like, okay, Gwe and Sfera, like, put her on a song. Yeah. I'll like, be honest with you, he's, he's my witness. When I was at dinner with Gwe and Sfera, they, like, he played the song, and Sfera, when we finished dinner, he was in the car, and he was, like, writing to the song already. Okay. So I was like, okay. he was feel, He was feeling it right away. Yeah, because Gwe, he even said on the podcast when we just had him that, uh, he was looking for like this 2004 vibe, yeah. like 50 Cent. And then uh, when, when I heard that, I was like, this is going to be crazy. And it was that. Yeah, it was that. It was a big song of 2023. I think one of the biggest hits of this year. Yeah. And after that, I mean, you put out the, the Vetineri, Vetineri, Song of the Summer. Yeah, yeah it was. It, it was actually the song that 
has been first in the charts for the longest in Spotify Italian history. Wow. That's talk your shit. That that's that's a big. She flex. got the receipts. She got the receipts. <laughs> we got the receipts. <laughs> yeah, tell us a little about how that how that song happened. It actually happened like super naturally. I didn't expect it to blow up this way. Actually, the songs that you don't expect to blow up are the songs that blow up the most. Like yeah. Bando as well, my first song. I didn't expect it to blow, to blow up that way. Um, but Vetrineri happened, basically, I just went in the studio mm -hmm. with Abba. That's basically yeah. the producer of the song. It's yeah. He has a lot song. of songs with Capo. Yeah, he, he's like his producer. Yeah. Uh, I just went in the studio and um, he had the beat. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, it's Mr. Saxo beat, you know, the original yeah, yeah, song. Yeah. yeah. Um, he just played the beat and he wanted to, me to like remake the melody. You know, na, 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 na. But I was like, no, I'm gonna make something more fire than that, like something on my own, you know? Yeah. And I'm telling you, that day I didn't think I was gonna record, but because I wasn't really, really inspired, but I s just stayed for a couple of hours in the studio and the song came out. And it was a hit right away. Yeah. We you knew, knew right it. away? I thought it was like an average song. It's cute. It's a cute song. Definitely not a song that's going to be first in the charts. But it's not. For the longest <laughs> week at a time, is it? Yeah. Week. But it went that way, so I'm happy. Yeah. No, that song's fire. You know how I know your music's fire? Because you have the, the girls singing it. And, and you the have the boys. guys. That's a huge goal because yeah. that's the thing that I noticed that I love about what I do is the fact that when I was like little, when I was like 13, 15, there were girl rappers in Italy, mm -hmm. but the boys were always kind of, oh, that, that shit's for girls. I mean, even, for, you know? even for us in, in America, yeah. we don't sing a lot of girl rap songs. I know the girls are kicking it right now. Yeah. Though, in yeah. the rap industry. Yeah. 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 So what does it mean to you? Do you feel... Key! <laughs> yes, key! key. <laughs> is it harder to make it as a woman in the, in the music business in Italy? Definitely. But um, some girls, I feel like they take advantage of it. They think, oh, I'm hot, I'm going to blow up. But you have to be like credibility, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to have credibility. Like in the yeah. rap yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. I feel that's a thing that is really hard to earn. And, like, the checkpoint where I feel I earned it was the featuring with Gwe and Spea. Like the that street was, like the street cred. Yeah. yeah. Not kind of the street cred, but, like, the rap credibility in Italy yeah. because it's hard as a woman to, like, get taken seriously, you yeah. know? Yeah. If you do this kind of music. If you make pop music, it's a lot easier, you know? But rapping in Italy as a woman, it was hard to get to the status where I am right now, you know? Yeah. And I feel... There's much more to happen. Let's hope so. So you and then the song with Artie Five yeah. was another fire song. Mm -hmm. So it's like your last three songs. Are those the last three songs you put out? Uh, Is it in that order, Miles? You're confusing me right now. I don't know. There's so much shit happening in my life lately. I don't even know what day. <laughs> but I know those me. those last three songs, all fire. Yeah, they all went three well. for three. You know. Yeah, like, and back back Lane, Vetrineri. What's the third one? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Yeah, because. Yeah. That was last year. Yeah. No, it wasn't last year. No, cool. it went? no, it was this year. Like six months ago. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking because I heard it a, a year yeah. ago this time. <laughs> so really, yeah, it's like four You were one of the first people that heard the song, actually. Yeah. It's, listen, she said it and Gwes said it. So, yeah. you know, it's true. Sabino knew. <laughs> yeah, Sabino knew. Um, so I got to ask. Everybody's curious. What's next for you? <sighs> what's next for me? I've been working on an album. Okay. Uh, I for sure want to put out like a solid project to like consolidate something. Yeah. So I've been working on a lot of music. I'm gonna go to the U.S. soon to okay. to work awesome. on some new music. New York. New York. I'm thinking I'm gonna come in January, but you want to come when it's the coldest. <laughs> so that way you never want to come again. Yeah, but I know it's always cold in the winter, so there's yeah. no escape. It's a lot yeah. cold. Yeah. yeah it is. <laughs> they always ask. It's a lot. Like, it's like a I'm lot. scared because I'm a really, like, how do you say, fredoloso. Like, yeah, you always get, get cold. cold. I always get Sweda's cold. Sweda's like that. Rick. In New York, <laughs> he has a big jacket. And it's like. <laughs> That's and, how I'm going to be. And it's not January. It's like. You got to oh, bring your best yeah. jacket. It's definitely. chilly, huh? Yeah. So. But you I are going to Miami, you said. Yeah, I'm going to go to Miami for sure. Like, I want to see Miami. I think I'm going to spend Halloween 
in the U.S. With, uh, in Miami? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. It's going to be fun. It'll definitely be, like, close to go to. Halloween is a whole another thing, like, compared to Italy. Like, yeah, yeah, there yeah. it's, like. You don't have cool. Halloween. Isn't it something else? No, we have Halloween. Yeah? But it was, like, Carnevale or something like that. We have, like, two, uh, how do you say, festive? Holidays? Yeah. Holiday, two yeah. holidays. We have Carnevale and Halloween. Okay. Carnevale, we dress up, like, as anything. It's not going to be scary. And Halloween, only get dressed up as something so scary. scary. For us, it's... Uh, it, it's yeah. anything for yeah. you, right? Yeah. For us, it's literally anything. Yeah, so would I, you dress up scary in New York? I, I'm still in thinking. I, for sure, I'm going to buy something there to, to dress up. Like, I'm going to go to a huge Halloween See, store. that's why you got to kind of plan it before, because then they'll be sold out. For real? Yeah. Uh, that happens. You got to, like, plan your Halloween costume now. Yeah. I, mean, I just asked my kids before I came. I'm still thinking about what. Like, I think it should be all right, though. Yeah? I want to do, yeah, like, something. Well, girls got it easy. They put, like... Son, sexy, put bunny ears. I'm a bunny. Yeah, but I don't want to do like that's that basic, mainstream though, shit. Yeah, you know, that's basic bitch shit. <laughs> yeah. well, we're excited for new music on the way. I know we got uh, some fun questions for you. We're very excited to announce a long-term partnership with the Soto Gastronomia out from Australia. This guy's got a really, really interesting restaurant. The Soto has a very interesting story. So they're first generation Italian Australians. They're basically us in Australia. Zoto was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. Zoto will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's going to be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. We're here at Hotel Zada. Got the fanny pack here. I'm um, feeling very European. This is the perfect location if you're staying in Milano. The train's literally right there. I can see it. You're close to the center, and it's a great affordable pricing. Visit this website right here and book it today. Yeah. So for that, I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking 15-year-old Anna, right? Uh-huh. What the hell would she think now? Like, Do you ever get a moment to reflect on what you've done? Yeah. You're still so young, and you're killing the game. So. Yeah, I'm just 20 years old, and I feel like so much shit has happened in my life until now. <laughs> It was kind of like boom, 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 you know, right. but I'm, I'm very like, I try to keep my mind clear and always be like, oh, wow, I'm so grateful for what I have. Has energy changed in Liguria since you go back? Uh, I mean, people sometimes treat me as I don't remember who, who they are. Like, do you remember we used to go to school together? Yeah, man, that was four years ago. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. They, they kind of treat me as a different person right now, always asking, like, questions about, you know, success, if I know that, if I know that. I'm just like... If you could be on a song. If you could be on a song with somebody, I'm like, I'm still, like, the same person. I'm my cousin, actually. Siamo parenti. Siamo huh? parenti. <laughs> you didn't know? Uh, you no, know, another special moment I saw was uh, we were in Sardinia, and at midnight for your 20th birthday... You perform cookies and cream yeah, with Sveta for the first time. That was crazy. Literally for your 20th birthday. Huh? It was yeah. like it was like the best thing I could do, honestly. It was better than a birthday party. It was like saying, wow, I'm just, uh, I'm turning 20 and I'm on stage. Like this is what I achieved at 20 years old. It was like a big gift for myself. Mm -hmm. It was not something that was material. It was something that made me think a lot and be grateful. It was well earned too. It was Definitely. well earned. I think so. I hope the so. crowd exploded in that moment. <laughs> yeah. It was like super surprise. People in Sardinia fucking love me more than yeah. any place in Italy. I why don't do you know think that why. Is? I don't know. I think over I've here been there. trying to figure out. I'm not kidding. I did a show the, sh the day before in a club in Sardinia. People knew every verse <laughs> of my songs, even the outros, <laughs> the, the ad libs. The, the, uh, uh, yeah. the, everything, everything. I was, my mind was blown, but I love Sardinian people. Yeah, no, Sardinians look. I was telling the boys, I don't know if you know, in New York, the Hamptons. You ever heard of the Hamptons? I heard, but I don't know. It's what like two is. hours away from New York, and it's super high. Like everybody with money has a house in the Hamptons. Okay. And it's in the summertime in New York, you go to the Hamptons. So, Sardinia. Is it a sea place? It's, yeah, the water, the water's. Okay. disgusting but <laughs> nobody goes in the water but okay. yeah it is a sea place okay. there's like boats you know it's it's basically porto cervo oh. in new york so now everybody has money that like has to have a house in the hamptons and i feel sardinia if you have money in italy 
You have a house in Sardinia. Yeah, that's the same thing. Like rich Milan people have a house in Sardinia or Liguria, where I come from. Yeah, really? Yeah, because it's up and coming. What is it's up and coming? What does that mean? Like uh, on the way, like it's an upcoming neighborhood. A lot of people are investing in it now. It's progressive. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, I live. I used to live right next to the train station, and like if you take the train and in like five and ten minutes, you're in the one of the oh, most okay. beautiful Italian places of C- Cinque Terre. I don't know if yeah, you've yeah, heard yeah, of yeah. it. That Luca was f- like based on that movie. Who? That movie Luca. It's like a Disney Luca. movie. Luca. Yeah. yeah. Silencio Bruno. <laughs> Silencio Bruno. <laughs> Why? Così si chiama? Yeah. Uh, no. Come si chiama il film della Disney? Silencio no, Bruno. Luca. No. No. Exactly quello Luca. ambientato alle Cinque Terre. Yeah, it's called Luca. Yeah. Luca. Silencio Bruno is, 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 is the line. From <laughs> she made a hot line and made yeah. a hot song. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas Cameron, yeah, yeah, that's the place. Yeah. In fact, since they made the movie, it is blew up. Yeah. Like he he just I, went I there. I was just there and it was crazy. Yeah, I had to go in and out. Were. It was like yeah, it's mm. too much. I think too much. Too much. Too, too much. much. In fact, they're raising the prices of everything. Yeah. Like, so it's like the new Ven- Venezia. I think Venezia is not really a sea place. It's more no, like I was just like built on water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You cannot really swim. I've never been there. You never been I, there. I was debating on this trip to like drive there. Venezia, no, no cars, just yeah. Walking. That's what I'm saying. You saw Kanye West. He's making a movie there. Yeah. So we got some uh, funny uh, questions. No, I just want to talk to you about some like Italian American stuff. Calandra's Bakery, family owned since 1962. Luciana Calandra. Sicilian immigrant started the bakery in 1962 in Newark, New Jersey, passing it on to his grandkids. The third generation, bacon bread the old school way, located in your nearest supermarket in New Jersey and New York. And don't forget to visit any of their three locations in New Jersey. Okay. When you think of Italian Americans, right? Mm. Like, what do you think in general? Yeah. I think you think Sabino? <laughs> like Italo Americano, Sabino, yeah, right? Yeah, Sabino. Like, if I, when we You're the school, only Italian American person I, I yeah? know in real life. Yeah. Because, like, when I was great, we talk like Tony Soprano, this, that. Like, I want to know what the younger generation thinks of like Italian Americans. I don't really know any Italian Americans, but I know that there, there, there are a lot of Americans um, that say they're Italian, but like. They're very far, oh, far, God. far parents. This is this the point I was trying to get to. She's one of those. Yeah. Uh, I, 400 generation? I, yeah. And, <laughs> and they try to flex their Italian. Damn. And then they say that they don't know. They don't even know anything. And, oh, I'm Italian. I'm Italian. Mozzarella. Like, oh, like oh, you know? Oh, you know? Wait, so. They're like, on. you're not Italian. Stop flex. It's not even a flex. Like, All right, so like, what? I, Damn. I will flex that I'm American. I will not flex that I'm Italian. Like, give us a checklist, Anna's checklist for a real Italian. Like really? what? Like, let's say Sabino Curcio. Am I Italian? Okay, at least you gotta you gotta like comprehend a conversation uh, and know uh, pronounce correctly the name of foods, please, because food is the core of Italy. You cannot claim to be an Italian and don't know how to pronounce the core of Italy, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, the is there a generation where Gabagol? <laughs> when I when I hear Gabagol, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I love Gabagol. It's good. You love Gabagol? <laughs> it's Capocollo, guys. Capocollo. Amazing. Um, wait, I think there's some regot back there. <laughs> Regotta. Wait, but really, you don't know? Do you see any Italian Americans on TikTok? No. Like any I of the pranks or anything? I don't. You can't. Can you name five Italian Americans? <laughs> I don't know. I don't Try know your them. best. Think of five. Italian Americans. I'll help you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Lady Gaga. Oh, right. Danielle Bergoli. Bad Baby. Okay. Bad Baby. That's a really good start with those two. Um, Who else? Two, Who else? John, who's two Italian Americans that are super well, I pick? Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. A grande. Yeah. Troppo grande, Ariana. De Niro. Italiano. Robert De Niro? Italiano. Yeah. Un quattro. Well, in her standards, he's not Italian. Well, in her standards, I'm not going to lie, she might uh, not be Italian. Ariana Grande, we got to see how she says mozzarella. <laughs> if she says mozzarella, you know, maybe we'll give her a pass. Yeah. We're opposite. We like, if we find out somebody has a little, like, 
nationality of Italian, we're like, come here, you're with <laughs> us. You know what I mean? And and like your side, it's more like, no. So like you guys are gatekeeping. I, I'm very picky on, yeah, on know, who's Italian or not. Are me and Sabino Italian to you? Be honest. No, you look super Italian. Like, you think so? Yeah. yeah. You look because of his Italian. jacket? Also. <laughs> yeah. Especially for your jacket. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. We look Italian, but yeah, are we Italian, though? I think you are. Yeah. I think yeah. I think the fair... You can fairness, comprehend a conversation. You can... I feel it's also important to have your citizenship, you know? like and to yeah. vi- I mean, citizenship is extreme. Like, I, we're working on it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, to, if you, you visit... you don't have the citizenship? No, he got it, and I have a Almost. meeting Should soon I? in November. Okay. Uh, is it hard to I mean, yeah. it's actually very easy. Yeah, I mean, it's hard and to the get American the American ones. Uh, hard to get. The, the, yeah, the Italian, the Italians. If you have blood, like you can show blood, For they real? give it to you. Like real blood? No, like <laughs> that you show, ah. like that you're no, that you're I, I thought they were gonna like test your DNA and your blood. Check, yeah, nah. No, that would be cool, actually. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to rap in English as well. Yeah. So I'm hoping to like. Can you spit some bars for us right now? Nah. <laughs> Man, too much pressure, guys. <laughs> yeah. I think I could see it. In like a veterinary situation, mm. for real, like you melodic? Got, you got melodic versus the, the like if you try to spit English bars and you don't have the perfect. You know, I I thought about making like veterinary English version. It could blow up. That could blow up. <laughs> how would it? How would it translate? The bars on that song, I, I, I always mix it like up. Trying to forget you, but I know that I cannot. Baby, baby, you're gonna be my first love, like that. It could work. Like that. It could work. Okay. Well, I think it w- can work out, yeah. but it's too late now. <laughs> no, it's never too no, late. No, it's never too late, nah, actually. It's never too late. Fuck it, I'm going to the studio <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call <laughs> off. <laughs> Let's get him on the I'm line. A- I'm coming to the studio. What? Okay, I'm out. out. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Yeah, no, that's fire. We should. Th- you should do that, but then film it in Miami or something, like the video in Miami. Yeah, everything. Um, version 2, again. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. All thinking about that now. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, what, what, made what, me think you, about it. I was gonna say, when you're not singing, mm-hmm. what are you doing? I'm just chilling. Netflix. Just chi- <laughs> Bro, everybody says they're just chilling. Go on. What's no, chilling? No, I'm I'm very passionate about fashion, so I like to shop. And that's a very basic bitch thing I know <laughs> to say, but I, I like uh, fashion and I like I like makeup a lot. Mm-hmm. So I'm very into makeup, um, watching like makeup tutorials. So I'm starting to learn about makeup because of my daughter. Yeah, like, she's obsessed. I can do her makeup one day if That'll I come be, to New she York. She would love that. Yeah, I always that. watch her in your story. She's yeah, so yeah. cute. She uh, she gave me a facial the first time. But, yeah, and you know what's funny with like girls when they start talking about makeup, facials, all this stuff, they always like. Look how much I got off you. Look how much, like my, do- yeah. my daughter rubbed this Oil cream on me. <laughs> the cream is literally like purple, brown, whatever. Literally, then she just wipes off that same cream and she's like, look, look how much you got off. I'm like, that's the cream you just put on. <laughs> so it's always. How uh, old is she? She's about to be seven. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So. Well, I, no, I'm sorry. She's about to be eight. Wow. Yeah. So time flies. I'm also. Coming to your sandwich shop, I want I want to taste one of your sandwiches because you they to look come. bomb. You have to. They look bomb, like. Like which one? Like a chicken color one? Because I, I, I feel the Italian culture eats like no, small the sandwiches. No, the one with meatballs inside. Yeah. I'm inspired, like mispira. Yeah. I don't know how to say it in English. Like it looks good as fuck. I want to try it. That's a that's a compliment coming from <laughs> you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're going to Miami. Mm-hmm. When you think Miami, what do you think of? Beach. Give us three three words okay. to describe, or maybe five words to describe Miami. Beach, hoes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna be honest. In that, in that, in that order, in that order. Same. I, I think about like big booty bitches, you know. <laughs> BBLs. But BBLs. No, I, I'm gonna correct myself. Beach. Uh, Beach. BBLs. <laughs> and uh, alcohol. Okay. So that's all. Words. That's all. Now give me New York. When I think of New York, I think about Statue of Liberty, Sabino sandwiches, S <laughs> <laughs> S, and what's the third thing? Like brick houses. You know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see that. Right, like graffiti, graffiti, yeah, also yeah. a lot. Right, the Bronx. The Bronx. Bronx. Kind of scared the to hood? go though. 
Some areas aren't nah, too bad. bad. We should bad. go when you come. We'll go to Arthur you, Avenue. You'll take me there. Yeah, You're going to be my, sure. my guy. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, last one is California. Los Angeles. California. Uh, California. I mean, the first thing you got to think about is the weed, you know? Yeah, <laughs> the chronic. Yeah, uh, California. That's such an old thing to say. <laughs> the chronic. <laughs> like sunsets. And I don't know much about California, actually, but I know, unfortunately, that there's been a lot of homeless people. Yeah. Like uh, Skid Row. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. That uh, that's bad to see. I've been seeing a lot of videos. And people always that w- also that went there and told me there's a lot of homeless people in the streets of yeah. Los Angeles. Because it's warmer. It's I got to be honest. Bad. In Italy, I don't see a lot of homeless people. No, there are, but not as many as America, I think. Yeah, it's a big yeah. problem in America. Yeah. Huge problem because life's also a lot more expensive. I mm-hmm. th- you can make something up in Italy, I think, to save yourself from the streets. But um, in America, like sanity, also, how do you say that? La, sanit- la sanità degli ospedali, healthcare. Yeah, yeah. Healthcare, sorry. It's it's uh it's free here. And it's not free. here. It's free. Yeah, like yeah. we pay it in taxes. In America, I know it's a lot expensive. Like if you break your arm, you're gonna have to pay. Like how much you pay if you break your arm? Well, the insurance. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you got insurance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't know about that. But, but I, they do, like, payment plans and stuff. Like, you mm. pay a little at a time. Oh, okay. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Mm. From your I travel. like Milan. Yeah? Yeah. So you're a true Milan. Yeah. It's Is it Milan or Mi- Milan? M- Milan? Milan. What are we Mil- saying in Milan. English? Milan. Milano. Because the people say Milan. Milan. Milan is more the team. Oh, the, uh, the uh, football team. Oh, that's true. Okay, AC you're Milan. right, you're right. AC Milan. But the city is Milan. Okay. No, that makes a. I just opened another door. Now it makes sense. This land is my land. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else you want to say? I know you got to go soon, so. Yeah, I got to go soon. I'm going to a show tonight, Fashion Week. I don't. You love Fashion Week, right? I like Fashion Week. Yeah. I like fashion. Cap. But <laughs> it, it we like the bags. Now uh, we <laughs> like the bags. We like. The, Free clothes. Yeah. <laughs> a little party, yeah, you know? A little party, a little free drink. Aperitivo. Aperitivo, you know? spritz, campari, you know? <laughs> but it makes the city a hell, like a living hell. The traffic. The traffic. Yeah, it's wild. Like, you, you can take, like, 30 minutes to get from a place where you would normally take, like, five minutes. Yeah, to get. that makes sense. Well, we're having fun here at Fashion Week in Milan. You're having fun? Where are you yeah. going? We're going to the party. I, I th- tonight? Yeah. GCDS? Same as you, yeah. Oh, we'll see you, yeah. see you there. Shout out to JCDS. You know, they, shout out to they, 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 shot, they send the packages to me, so I respect oh, that. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. I'm starting to get some free clothes, too. So. They did a fire collab with Feta as well. Like the recently. Pepsi one, right? The Pepsi one, yeah. yeah. Fire. The ad was fire. They filmed it in America, I think. I think Yeah, in, in Los Angeles yeah. when he just Morelli came. Yeah, Brothers. What, are they directors? Directors, yes. Okay, that makes sense now. That's fire. But listen, we just wanted to thank you for your time. Yes. We thank know you for having me. Water. It was super cool to thank do my so first much. interview. First, first one. one. We'll take it. First first thank you. And we'll do, we'll do, it's got to be like a, a yearly, bi-yearly thing where we okay. catch up. Yeah. So you'll see part two soon. Ten years by now, we're going to When Betty Nettie English, yeah. when Black Windows Betty come Nettie out. English version out soon, guys. <laughs> <Black Windows. laughs> Ciao, you. everybody. Ciao, ragazzi. Ciao, ragazzi.